Uttar Pradesh stands tall as the incubator of Indian culture. A state where culture is seen in its best form and hues. The land of enlightenment. The land of Buddha. The land that gave the world Vedas, Upanishads and hymns. The land where rituals blend with life. To position India as a leader on the global map of cultural exploration with special focus on environment, all green concept, UP is poised to become most environment friendly state in India with initiatives like Guinness World Book of Records for planting 5 crore saplings at 6000 locations in 8 hours in one day, 3000 crore rupees Gumti Riverfront Development Project. Saras Crane States Bird Festival 376 acres Janeshwar Mishra Park Interestingly, Uttar Pradesh is also the first state to construct cycle tracks in major cities. The land that is so beautifully bestowed with natural resources. Uttar Pradesh is also the ultimate knowledge destination from times immemorial. Knowledge may have changed its form with fast development happening in technologies of information and communication. Uttar Pradesh continues to lead, this time in IT and electronics revolution. Warm welcome to the state that embraces technology perfectly. Nearly two decades of economic liberalization coupled with robust growth happening in terms of infrastructure, a young and skill conscious population and industry friendly initiative. World's greatest laptop distribution program was carried out in the state as promised by him. Since March 2013, nearly 18 lakh laptops have been distributed to the students of UP colleges. To ensure digital connectivity for the state's youth, visionary leader Sri Akhilesh Yadavji has introduced Samajwadi Smartphone Yojana which entails distributing free smartphones among the general public. Online registrations for this scheme have already started. All this makes Uttar Pradesh the leading name as a credible investment destination especially when it comes to information technology industry. It all begins with connectivity. 47 national highways connect the state. An extensive road network hailed as world class. Icing on the cake. This is the only state to set your pulse racing high with India's one and only Formula One motor racing circuit. Largest railway network in the country spanning over 8,763 kilometers and the first state to opt for connectivity innovation. Now all set to provide metro connectivity in seven cities including Noida, Greater Noida, Lucknow, Ghaziabad, Meerut, Kanpur and Varanasi. The expressway development happening in the state also shows the government's swiftness record quickness in giving clearance to development projects like Metro, Lucknow Agra Expressway and others. Uttar Pradesh leads in India owing to two international airports. This adventure savvy place is a favorite with investors and industrialists as well. Yes, we are talking about Noida and Greater Noida. UP's leading cities where economic fundamentals stand strong and global interest is on a steady upswing as satellite cities of national capital Delhi, Noida has witnessed remarkable growth in this decade. The next big investment destination of India, Noida and Greater Noida are already fast emerging as the preferred startup destination. There are many advantages for the startups as well as IT and electronic manufacturing companies in UP. Abundance of skilled manpower is one main reason. 
UP being the hub of specialized and vocational educational training center 300 plus technical institutes are churning out 1 lakh skilled professionals every year the biggest and best names of education in India are right here these are not just the names but the pillars of education and a role model for all other educational institutions in India. Statistically speaking, Uttar Pradesh has more than 55 universities and 4,345 colleges. Uttar Pradesh has a huge market potential owing to its enormous consumer base. The state is home to 230 million people and government is committed to skill the youth which accounts for a major percentage of the population. In fact, incubation facilities have been set up at leading institutes to help prospective entrepreneurs and intrapreneurs to convert their innovative ideas into commercially viable products. The idea is to incubate ventures in technology, engineering and other interdisciplinary areas through support services like entrepreneurial talk series, workshops and seminars. When we ran a national campaign from across 26 states where we received applications, the state of Uttar Pradesh had the third highest number of applications. And the state is supporting each startup which gets into Startup Village with a monthly stipend of 15,000 rupees for one year. Uh, Uttar Pradesh with so many colleges and so many young people, so many of them are women and girls are, uh, are uh, progressing so fast. And now we are coming up with a wonderful startup policy in the state. We surprised to see uh, government is uh, taking steps. In Uttar Pradesh, we are going to establish 60 startup centers. Honorable Chief Minister Mr. Akhilesh Yadav has got a great plan to support student startups, necessary steps to begin the startup journey. In 1991, government of Uttar Pradesh has provided us a better platform for uh, all startup like us. People who want to start up, who want to be an entrepreneur, UP is certainly a best startup destination. The government has provided us the uh, incubation center, the IT open, which, which proved a very big advantage for us. The initiative that the UP government has taken for the startups and for these innovative ideas is highly uh, appreciable. Another reason for UP's fast-paced growth as IT investment destination is the government's investor-friendly IT and Startup Policy 2016, which aims to position Uttar Pradesh as the preferred IT ITES investment destination in India by offering lucrative subsidies like 5% interest subsidy for 7 years, 100% reimbursement on stamp duty, 100% exemption on electricity duty, 100% grant on EPF for employment generation, incentives for certifications, 24 by 7 operations, incentives on case-to-case -case basis for IT units with investments more than Rs 200 crores as well as IT infrastructure developers with more than 10 acres experience in investment on more than 5 acres of land for development of IT park. And the best of all, single window clearance to efficiently and smoothly assist the entrepreneurs and other IT units to facilitate statutory clearances in time-bound manner. Along with this, there are special incentives to MSMEs which include rebate on lease rental space and power subsidy for MSME to blossom in the state. Owing to this comprehensive and supportive IT policy, stupendous results have been achieved. HCL IT City project where investment worth 1500 crores have been envisaged direct jobs to nearly 25,000 people with indirect employment to 50,000 youth. Skill Development Center has been developed with 5,000 students capacity every year. Government has focused on creation and improvement of excellent IT infrastructure development such as establishment of state-of-the-art IT cities and IT parks in order to provide thrust to ready-to-move-in infrastructure facilities for IT, ITES units. The state government is collaborating with STPI, GOI in constructing IT parks in Agra, Gorakhpur and Meerut. 
and with IIT Kanpur for IIT Park and Center of Excellence in Kanpur. Government of UP's recent initiative of promoting startup culture based on Infuse model. The Infuse model envisages providing the financial support from the government to incubators, startups and venture capitalists funding the startups. The government of Uttar Pradesh shall establish an initial corpus of rupees 100 crores in phases to promote incubators and mobilize startups in the state of Uttar Pradesh. The additional funding by the government shall be done based on the requirement and scalability as decided by the empowered committee. The state government shall match 25% of the money invested by the VC subject to the condition that the funding shall be done only to the startups based in Uttar Pradesh. The fund would be professionally managed like a PE venture fund with industry leaders in the committee along with support from private players and government of UP. Uttar Pradesh has also made its mark connecting people with technology. State has 60,000 common service centers that live up to the vision of Digital India, providing impetus to e-governance vision of Honorable Chief Minister Sri Akhilesh Yadav. In the next few years, entrepreneurs from all over the world are coming here. This is just the right place and the right time to set up your industry in UPE.